right jab. <laughs> Finding those what causes some problems to support Stevenson. Oh. Oh. In the middle of round six. Oh. Ooh, made up mind. He just hurt. He just, not just the best. I mean the biggest, but the best. Yes. The most accomplished. He's got a little bit of an anger to him, too. That's what blood does. That is it. They are waving it off. This is a TKO victory for Shakur Stevenson. And he is a two-division world champion. An absolute A-plus performance from Shakur. Shakur, we had asked you before, was Jamel Herring the man to bring out the best in you? Did he? Most definitely, I feel like Jamel Herring is a great fighter. Um, he's tough. He's real tough. He got great boxing skill. He got great power. Um, I was just a better man tonight. What was said after the fight? Because there was a lot said before, and I know that it's gamemanship, and I know that there's no friends, but what was said after the fight? I mean, it was no friends because we was fighting. But now that we're not fighting, I love Jamel Herring. Uh, he's definitely my friend. Uh, I don't got no problem with Jamel. Hey, to his wife, I'm sorry. I don't want no trouble with you. She's tough. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't mess around, but neither did you tonight. What was it about your performance that made you happiest? Uh, I want to thank Tim Bradley. Tim Bradley was uh, criticizing me, calling me boring. Um, so I wanted a fun fight. I wanted to perform, show my skills, show my boxing skill, my defense, my power. Um, I showed everything tonight. You did. What was most impressive is you were standing in front of Jamel Herring, and much like you have been able to do throughout your career, you were unhittable for parts of the fight. When did you know you had this fight won? Uh, around like the fifth round. The fifth round, um, I had landed everything. Um, I was winning clearly. And then he started trying to come on. And when he started trying to come on, I'm like, okay, I'm going to take a break, and then step it back up later. Jamel, his left eye started to swell early, but then that cut happened. What did you think when you saw that blood streaming from his face? I smelled blood. I saw uh, he was bleeding. I'm like, okay, I got to attack the cut. So every punch I was looking for, I was trying to touch the cut, touch the cut, uh, just to make the doctor stop it. The first title you ever won was a vacant belt. This one you had to take from another fighter. How did that feel? It felt amazing. I want to be a superstar in the sport. I'm here to last. Uh, I take my craft very serious. I'm disciplined. Uh, I did a strong camp. I want to thank my team. Uh, Coach Wally Moses, Jack, Dirt, K. Um, I had a strong team. They got me prepared for this, and we was in the gym grinding. Everyone talks about... I love my family and friends, too. I appreciate y'all. Everyone talks about the young princes, kings, whatever you want to call them, at 135, who don't step into the ring against one another. But here at 130, there's champions who want to fight. Who do you want to fight? I mean, there's only one fight left at the end of the day. It's the biggest fight in the division. Um, Oscar can't keep ducking. It's time for him to fight. It's me versus Oscar Valdez. There's nothing else to uh, look forward to. The 130-pound division, we need to unify. Let's get it. That's exactly what boxing needs. Shakur, one last message to your fans who came out in force here in Atlanta. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Jay Prince, Antonio Leonard, um, Andre Ward, Josh Dubin, everybody. Uh, I appreciate everybody that helped me out. Thank you very much, Shakur. Congratulations. Enjoy your victory tonight.